in this video. Are we seeing a big move in the coming days as right now the whole crypto market is currently consolidating across different coins? Stay tuned to know more. So hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. So let's dive into this video. So yeah, let's look into the Bitcoin price first things first. And yeah, let's give you a quick recap. But sa previous video natin, nagkaroon tayo ng dip. And then diba, sabi natin we were expecting consolidation kasi wala tayo nakita ng buy or sell volume at this area. And then after that, ang sabi kasi nyo kahapon, what we, uh, what we have to look out for is if we are going to form a bullish divergence. So ayun nga, nagkaroon tayo ng decline. And, and buti na lang, if you're going to look at ours, RSI, we are starting to form this increasing price. So, ayun na meron tayong de declining price while increasing RSI. That would indicate na we are seeing a possible bullish trend reversal or a bullish divergence. So, in this case, ano ba yung magiging movement niya? So, if this plays out, then our movement would be somewhat of a trend reversal na nga. Yun na nga, magkakaroon tayo ng bullish trend reversal for the Bitcoin price. Especially, nga, naging oversold tayo. I think it's already twice and oversold. So indicating na I think we are going to see a short term trend reversal for the very short term in the coming hours. Though that, take note guys this is just for the very short term. And yeah, ang pwede kasi mangyari diyan pwede pa din siya mag-extend and in that case pag nag-extend siya, pwedeng mag-decline pa lalo yung price at the same time yung RSI would still increase. So right now, yun yung ating inaabangan dito for the Bitcoin price if we are going to decline further or are we going to do a bullish divergence? So yes, yun yung aking minomonitor ngayon in the coming hours, especially yun nga for the very short term, not much to trade dito, not unless mag-form to. You can also say na we are starting to form somewhat of a falling channel. So let's draw a falling channel dito. So right now, the Bitcoin price must break this short term falling channel so that in order for us to say na we are going to flip bullish, then yeah, kailangan natin mabreak yan. Then our target for this falling channel would be this top of the channel. So if mabreak natin yan, then this would be our target around the 65.4k. And if we break natin yan, of course, we are go just going to get the height of this ascending channel or falling channel pala. So let's get the height of that and then lagay natin sa possible point of breakout. Then that would be our target of around 60,000. Ngayon, in order to confirm the move, kailangan natin ng sell volume or buy volume upon breakout. Pero ang kagandaan dito, since we are starting to form a bullish divergence, I'm leaning toward bullish dito. So yeah, possible na mag-decline siya dyan and then yeah, possible na mag-trend reversal. So ako, I'm more bullish with this movement rather than bearish. And yes, sa ngayon, how ako sila tapak positions ko. Wala akong ginagalaw ngayon, but I'm just buying the dip. And yes, ang pinakang good buying opportunity would actually be this. 63.1k, so that's a good buying opportunity for Bitcoin. Another good buying opportunity would be at this area of around, siguro ito. Let's get this target around 60.7k or 60.8k. Those are the good buying opportunities. So nakita nyo guys, meron tayong buying opportunities at the 63.1 as well as the 60.8k. So yun yung siguro if magdi-DCA kayo, pwede nyo gawin target yung mga areas na yan. Or pwede nyo, pwede nyo lagay ng orders dyan sa area na yan. So yeah, that is for the Bitcoin price for the very short term. And guys, if you want to trade Bitcoin with the lowest fees possible, I highly suggest you trade it with Bing Bond. Kasi dito, mas mura ating Bitcoin trading fees when it comes to Bitcoin trading. So as usual, if gusto nyo makuha ng bonus dito sa ating mga platform, you can actually use my sign-up link na you can find the description down below. So yeah, that is for the Bitcoin price ngayon. Ang kagandaan dito, kasi if you're going to consolidate further with different coins, and then look at this. We have been pretty much consolidating for sideways across different time na nga. And yes, ang kagandaan dito, if mag-consolidate tayo dito further, then every time na mag-pump si Bitcoin, then that would indicate na pwede tayo makita ng short-term altcoin season. Yung retracement niya na yan, yan yung nagka-cost ng mga altcoin season. Kasi remember, whenever Bitcoin is consolidating and it's not making all-time high, that is a window area for altcoins. So right now, yun yung window area for altcoins ngayon, which is ito. If mag-break to, then that could be a possible altcoin season for the very short term. So makita natin yung some altcoins tumakit na mabilis or some altcoins baka umakit na mataas. So that's why we are going to check into different altcoins ngayon. Such as, let's, first things first, let's look at Ethereum. So diba, for Ethereum, ang previous analysis natin, we were following this rising wedge. And yun nga, diba sabi natin, if break to, kailangan natin ng sell volume in order to confirm the move. However, wala tayong sell volume nakita upon this breakout, indicating na that is not a confirmed breakdown. So, ano ba yung magiging next move dito? So, right now, nag-form tayo ng panibagong falling channel dito. So, you can see nag-form tayo dito ng falling channel. And I think this is pretty much confluent with the Bitcoin price, especially if we're going to look at this. May falling channel din tayo sa Bitcoin price. So, right now, this is what I'm looking out 
which is if you're going to play within this channel. And yeah, this is a good buying opportunity if let's say mag-decline tayo further. You can buy at the support and then sell at the, and then sell at the resistance. Pero ang pwede mong gawin is maglagay ka ng buy order at the 4.4k. In that case, that would be a good buy opportunity for Ethereum, especially if you want to buy the dip. But yeah, right now, ito yung mini monitoring natin ngayon for Ethereum if we are going to consolidate pa dito further. And yeah, not much to trade pa rin dito for Ethereum. As you can see, everything is pretty much consolidating. And as you all know, guys, when the market is consolidating, that could give us a momentum to pump to the upside. So right now, yeah, abang-abang lang tayo dito for the Ethereum price action, especially, yun nga, wala pa tayong nakitang buy or sell volume happening dito, not other than yung isang sell volume na biglang bagsak ng Bitcoin. But yeah, as you can see, Ethereum is looking very healthy. We are steadily increasing with Ethereum, especially if we're going to zoom out. Dere-derecho and consistent yung ating pagkakit ka Ethereum ever since the bullish divergence. And yeah, I think we are going to consolidate muna dito further with Ethereum, not unless ma-break natin to, and not unless magkaroon tayo ng buy volume. Kasi look at that, if you're going to zoom out in the daily time frame, wala pa tayong nakikita ng buy volume at the Ethereum price action. So right now, yun yung kailatin magkaroon talaga, which is a buy volume. So ayun yung volume na ating crypto market is still declining. Di ba na-mention ko sa sa mga ibang video natin na wala pa ding buy volume yung ating market. So in that case, nag-aabang-abang pa rin tayo dito. And guys, pag nagde-decline yung volume na market, that is prone to an imminent move anytime soon. So right now, inaabangan pa din natin siya kung kailan magkakaroon yung imminent move across the crypto market. It's not only for Ethereum kasi if you're going to look at other coins such as Cardano, wala pa tayo nakikita ang buy volume. So yeah, as you can see, the whole crypto market is not yet seeing any buy volume yet. So I think we're going to see an imminent move anytime soon. It's just a matter of when. So if I were you, I would just be patient right now. And yeah, huddle lang if meron kang coins ngayon. And yeah, siguro wag mo masyadong bigyan ng pressure sarili mo sa pag-aabang ng pump. Kasi if I were you, if you're going to look at that, ang hirap niya abangan if, if let's say nag-abang ka simula July, you can see na from July, wala masyadong buy volume pa din. Though it's increasing, you can see na Ethereum has been increasing. Wala pa tayo talaga significant buy volume in order to say na we are very bullish for the Bitcoin or Ethereum price action. So yeah, right now, habang-abang lang tayo. Patience is the game. And yeah, huddle still for the long term, especially for the short term, since wala pa tayo nakikita buy volume for the crypto market. So yeah, that is for Ethereum. We are expecting that movement and especially a movement within the falling channel in the coming days. So I'll monitor lang natin siya, especially on your end. Let's talk about Axe Infinity. You can see Axe Infinity is also consolidating then dito for quite of time lang din and you can see na still our target is the 170 US dollars and our target support is the 124. So if let's say if you want to buy Axe Infinity, you can actually buy at the 124 dollar area. That could be a buying opportunity for Axe Infinity. But yeah, I expect more consolidation dito and remember, whenever a coin is consolidating, especially for Axe Infinity, Axe Infinity has that habit of consolidating for a very long time before seeing a massive pump. So yeah, right now we are still consolidating for Axe Infinity. As you can see, if you're going to look at the historical data, very normal lang kay Axe Infinity na mag-consolidate. And right now, we are still consolidating. So, abang-abang lang tayo dito kay Axe Infinity in the coming days. So, as you can see, pretty much the same Then the whole market is not seeing any buy volume. Especially, if you're going to look at that Axe Infinity, wala pa din tayong buy volume dito. So, yeah. Right now, I suggest na huddle pa lang din tayo kay Axe Infinity. Or, let's say, for any coin, for any coin sa abo ang crypto market, just huddle lang kasi wala pa tayong nakitang buy volume. And then last but not the least, let's go for BNB. You can see for BNB, we are still consolidating pretty much the same. Zooming out in the daily, wala pa din tayong buy volume. So yeah. And ano ba yung areas na kailangan natin tingnan ngayon for BNB? So right now, ang kailangan natin tingnan for BNB is actually the 587 US dollars or 588. That could be a good buying opportunity for BNB. So if you want to buy BNB, 588 is actually a good re-entry dito. Especially yun nga, this is a Fibonacci support. And then a Fibonacci resistance natin would be the target of the 690 US dollars. So, right now, our target is still 690, but our target support is the 588. So, buy at the 588, take partial profit at the 69, at the 690 US dollars. So, if we break natin yan, then ano may next movement natin kay BNB? So, if we're going to zoom out, that is actually the previous all-time high na nga. So, if we break natin yan kay BNB, then our next target would be roughly around, siguro, yeah, 986 US dollars. So yeah, malaking milestone na actually for BNB yung susunod na price action natin if break natin yung 690 US dollars. So right now, yun yung monitor natin for BNB if we are going to break the 690 US dollars and if break natin with buy volume, then our target would be the 986 US dollars. So yun muna yung natin for today. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye for now.